Hi collectors, another MAD item review. In this case we have the complete MAD checklist which was compiled by Fred von Bernwitz. So most of you would know the current historian is Doug Guilford. But back in the early MAD period, uh, and I'm talking 50s, early 60s, uh, a guy by the name of Fred von Bernwitz compiled a bunch of information and put it in these books. And my understanding it was fairly well authorised by MAD itself. Uh, so let's have a look at the first one. I don't have the complete collection of all of them. Um, I only have number one and number three, which comes in two parts. Uh, so let's have a look at the first one. Uh, so we have some artwork by Don Martin there. Uh, it's saying this is funnier than the magazine. Uh, so we have here... Uh, the original cover was by Don Martin, so it's saying it's original there, so it probably is. <clears throat> uh, it's the authorised edition, so as I said before, they were fine with that. And it says here that it was actually edited for the staff of MAD. I'm pretty sure you could actually purchase this, but not sure through what method. I don't think it was through the magazine or the comic at that time, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, down the bottom here we have uh, who it's published by. This particular one was published in 1961 uh, by Keyboard Press there, yeah, Quoty and the rest, uh, in New York. It's made from used flower sacks, which is quite funny. Uh, so we've got some other contributors there. Okay, so it's dedicated to Bill Gaines, without whom this publication wouldn't have been possible, which is of course true. Uh, first printing, September 1961. I don't know if this particular one is a first printing. Uh, it possibly is. Uh, it goes through MAD from issue 24 to 66. Uh, it alphabetically lists the story title. Uh, it's got the different types there by writer and by artist. Uh, it's got MAD annuals and then any addenda that's required. So they've got a key here, so OFC is outside front cover, inside front cover, AEN is Alfred E. Newman, OBC is outside back cover, and so on. So you've got Will Elder, Harvey Kurtzman, Wally Wood, Jack Davis, those types. And it goes through each edition at the top here, the number of the edition and what happens in it. Of course, the page numbers here are saying if there were different covers for the issue. So it was guaranteed by Alfred N. Newman down the bottom here. The complete EC checklist. That's about it. Let's have a look at the other ones I have. Okay, so this is number three. As I said, I don't have number two at the moment. Uh, the artwork here was done by Sergio Aragones. If you went through this, these are all different people from the actual staff of MAD. So the original artwork was graciously contributed by Sergio Aragones, it says here. Uh, and he's also done some uh, marginals as well. Gone up in price since the first one. It's three dollars fifty, and the other one was a dollar fifty. So this was published in 1971. So again, you've got a key of what's going to happen throughout the book, and then we go through 
a tradition starting at number 89 for this particular one. A good little marginal there from Sergio. Here's an advertisement for the other two, number one and two, and the complete EC checklist revised edition. Okay, let's look at part two. So section two of that particular one, number three. I assume they couldn't be bound all in one copy, that's why they've been broken into two parts. Got some more marginals throughout. Definitely would have been a good option if you're a hardcore collector back in the day, uh, but luckily now we have Doug Guilford's website to go on, which of course has a huge amount of information and allows you to cross reference uh, artists and writers throughout their entire career with MAD. Certainly, if you haven't checked that out, you should, and that's madcoversite.com. Okay, that's all for this video. Catch you next time.